Blossomous day three. Welcome, friends. Wow. <laughs> this is consuming a lot more of my day than I thought it would. So when I do show my art, I'm going to do it in smaller bites instead of like showing the mass quantity that I showed in yesterday's video. Cheers to coffee. So I want to just talk about the first two paintings I did. This one, I actually worked on it after the video was done, after it was posted. Yesterday, I ended up working on it some more because I wasn't happy with the way in, in the video on Vlogmas Day 1, you could see I had it very wet and when I painted this heart the color bled it was the weirdest thing it bled into this part so you can see all this pink around the edges well i don't like pink for christmas it's not my thing so i yesterday went over that pink with yellow and it toned it down a bit so i like it much better i darkened both of their skin tones I painted over like the tree so now you can see it's a little bit like fuzzy because the the colors bled a little bit which I actually like I have no problem with that what else oh and then I painted the background with more of a brown instead of a yellow and I painted over all of this stuff so as you can see there was a little bit of running but I like that. It makes it look more watercolory. So actually, I like it better now. So, so there you go. You know, sometimes you think a painting's done and then the more you look at it, you realize it's really not done. Like something is not settling with you and there's no problem with going back and making changes. So that's what I did on that one. And then, oh, and then a couple people said, Wow, it's interesting that you wrote Merry Christmas upside down. In the speed painting video, yes, I did. I didn't do that just out of my head. There was very faint pencil marks, so it was already drawn on there with pencil. And the reason I did it upside down is because the rest of the painting was still wet and I didn't want to put my hand in it because I'm famous for putting my hand in my paint. So I thought, well, turn it upside down <laughs> and then I can just, you know, that's how I did it. That's the only reason I did it. And no, I cannot write upside down if there's not pencil marks there first. When I, it's, to me, I guess I consider the words as much as part of the art type of thing. So long as there's pencil marks to follow, I look at it as art. Like I can paint, I can paint the Santa upside down. I could paint those angels upside down. Sometimes I paint upside down during what you paint Wednesday. If you're not familiar with that, on Wednesdays I go live on Facebook, both my YouTube channels, and my friend's Facebook page if she is available that, that day. But my best friend, my soul sister Kristen, lives in Tennessee, and we started this thing over a year ago of getting together every Wednesday and painting together for an hour, hour and a half, usually tops, an hour and a half. And sometimes... I'm like I'm using a table to paint on so that you can see me you can see the painting well then the painting is upside down for people watching so I will paint it I will flip it around so it's right for the camera but upside down to me 
I can do that. To me, painting is like blocks of color. Like if I was doing a realistic portrait of somebody, <laughs> I probably wouldn't do that upside down. But, you know, there's certain paintings that it's just you're filling in color type of thing. And I can do it upside down. Anyway, so then uh, Vlogmas Day 2, I painted Kris Kringle. I absolutely love this. The minute I sketched it in my sketchbook, I knew this was going to be one of my favorites during Vlogmas. I just knew it. The sweetness of the face on that snowman as Santa is gifting him a top hat and he, the way he's holding the heart with his little twig arms crossed. And I love the style of that reindeer. I love the muffin top on Santa because, you know, I have one. <laughs> I wear stretch pants and yoga pants all the time. So yeah, tis the season to have a muffin top. So anyway, <clears throat> I think it turned out spectacular. I just love it. And yes, this will be a cross stitch chart. That was one of the things that a lot of people were asking. I post, cause when I'm done, I post the picture on Instagram and a lot of my followers on Instagram are cross stitchers. And they said, please make this into a cross stitch pattern. And just the sweetness of this design, it just has to be cross stitch. So probably punch needle too, actually. It would be cute as both. So I like to do the voiceover like I have been doing with the Kris Kringle, Saint Nick to Kris Kringle to Santa Claus, like how that evolved. I found it fascinating myself. Oh my gosh, though, I'm like, what is wrong with me? I'm a horrible reader. Like. I got tongue-tied so much. The voiceover was a total pain in the butt because I didn't read it first. I think that would have helped had I read it first because there were some things in there I'm like, I don't even want, this is stupid. I don't want it. I don't want that to be part of it. Or there were words where I don't even know how to say that. Like had I read it first and figured some of those words out and, and different things like that, it would have been easier for me. But even then I was just tongue-tied and I was getting very frustrated and I was hoping it didn't come across in my voice but the one that really blew me away yesterday day two of vlogmas was the Italian children like their tradition this just blew me away and I wonder how accurate it is and I want to research it more because I just think it's crazy that they have a Christmas witch that delivers gifts a witch? I mean, come on, you have Halloween. You stay over there and we want Santa Claus. We want Santa Claus. We want St. Nicholas. We want the jolly old elf. <laughs> you know, we don't, I just found that was, that was the weirdest thing. And I really, like I said, I want to research that because I don't know how accurate that is. I've never heard that before. Here goes my furnace again. So for Vlogmas, I don't like when I, I start sentences with so all the time when I'm recording. I don't know what that is because in real life, I don't do that. For Vlogmas Day 3, I want to share with you more of my paintings from my past. And here is the stack. It's about as much as I had yesterday. So I'm not doing all of them today because that took a lot of time and I want to keep these 30 minutes or under, and yesterday's was 44 minutes or something like that. So I'm going to start out with some paintings that are really old. Like this is 142, 141, and here, I was going to say here we have another one not numbered. I'm sure this one's numbered. It's, this one says 141. Ooh. I'll tell you why. So this is 141. <laughs> this is 141. Jingle bears, jingle bears, jingle day and night. Of all the bears we've... Wait. <laughs> I'm trying to read that in the camera. Of all the bears we've come to love, these are a delight. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I made that up. Many moons ago, I mean, seriously, 141. I'm going to say that was... this. This was probably from 1995, 1995, 1996, something like that. Then I repainted it. I'm going to guess that, no, wait a minute. 
I think this might have been the original and then I repainted it to this. I'm going to guess. So as you can see, I used to repaint stuff a lot to fit a different format. So as you can see, this is more of a border. Works really well for a border where this was part of my legacy publishing teddy bear calendar. And actually at the time when I started doing my bear calendar, I was published with AmCal. And I was with AmCal for many, many years. And then when they quit doing it, God, I had another company do it for a couple years. And then they wanted to quit doing it. And then Legacy picked it up probably five, six years ago, something like that. My first bear calendar was in 1999. So yeah, this was part of that bear calendar. So we're talking 21, 22 years old, this painting is. What? <laughs> That's crazy. My youngest son is 23 and this thing is 22 years old. That just blows me away. Blows me away. So um, I decided to make this go quicker. I'm going to, I'm going to move you over ever so gently. I'm going to stand over here because I don't really like my face that close up anyways. So then we have another one. This is 142. I also believe, God, so long ago, but the, this was part of a fabric line. My very first fabric line was with South Sea Imports. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah. And when I painted watercolor before, I always started out with an ink pen and in ink drawing. I use a rapidograph pen that does very, very fine lines. So I don't know if you can really see that. But all of the, everything is outlined with that ink pen. And I don't use that technique anymore. Two oh eight four. There should be companions to this, but there, I guess I don't have all this in order. Happy holidays, one eight seven zero so this is fairly old more than likely yep it says December 2008 AMCAL so this is when I was doing the bear calendar for AMCAL so this was for the 2008 calendar image for December hmm did I not show this yesterday hold please okay I'm like I know I showed this yesterday so this would have been the first one. And as you can see, it's in my colors. This is, you know, I love that sagey green. I like the burgundy and all those nice, rich Christmas colors. Well, I'm going to assume that someone wanted it done, but different colors. They wanted, see the difference? This has blue in it. The reds are brighter. That's too funny. So I'm curious, which one do you like better? The richer colors or the brighter colors? Comment below. <laughs> this was painted for, uh, gal, P and B. It was a fabric line that I did years ago, probably 10 years ago. I can't remember if it was Marcus Brothers or P and B fabrics, P and B textiles. Anyways, so this was the repeating stripe. Little teddy bears with gifts. Look at them peeking out of the presents. How adorable is that? I love this ornament row. That's fun. And then here are some images that go along with that fabric line. And I like the border with all the stars. I'm pretty sure that was one of the coordinates in that fabric line. Happy holidays. So let's see, didn't I just show that? Oh, I guess no, it's different. Same concept, put a little top hat on. I love that brown top hat. I normally do them black, but I really like it in the brown. Teddy bears are just so sweet. We can't deny that, right? 
Oh God, I'm missing one of these too. So this, these were three paintings I'm sure that I did for the company that used to do the bags and boxes. Remember I told you yesterday that they like me to do things in threes and fours for their products. This one's so cute, Santa. They're all looking up, even the little snowman in the background, looking up at Santa and his reindeer. So there's three in this little series, and it's um, teddy bears and their puppy dog. I mean, come on. How sweet. Aw, he's pulling his little Fido on a sled. The numbers are 3040, 3041, and probably 3042. But yeah, the little cardinal following them in the sky there. Was there a cardinal in the first one? Yep, the cardinal in the first one was on the packages. And here he's bringing home the gifts with his little puppy dog and his little cardinal friend. Merry Christmas. Is that precious or what? She is making the moves on that guy and he is shocked. Ted's like, what is happening? This one I love because I don't know what it is. The faded colors maybe. It has such a vintage feel to me. And I know I said I'm not into pink for Christmas, but that is to me not pink. It's more of a faded red. And he's got a little trumpet and a candy cane and he's pulling like his little sister or maybe it's his daughter. I don't know. Very vintage feeling to me. All right, guys, that was much shorter. Better for Vlogmas because, you know, we want to keep it shorter. So I hope you enjoyed that. Today, I just want to do something a little bit different and read scripture to you and then go over the meditation. I have this little booklet that I got at church, Daily Meditations for November 28th through November 31st. One I read this morning was so good and I just really wanted to share it with you. So the reading is Matthew 9, verse 27 through 31. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, calling out, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he had gone indoors, the blind man came to him, and he asked them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their sight was restored. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread the news about him all over that region. So here's the meditation. If Jesus asked you this question, you'd likely respond as the two blind men did in today's gospel. Yes, Lord. We know that Jesus healed many people during his public ministry. We also know that he, as the risen Christ, is still healing people today. But if we believe that Jesus can heal, then why doesn't he heal every person for whom we pray? As Jesus touched the eyes of the two blind men, he said, let it be done for you according to your faith. We might think, I have faith, Lord, so why didn't you heal the young mother I prayed for who died leaving her children behind? Why don't you heal my spouse's cancer or my son's depression? This is a mystery we may never understand this side of heaven, and it can test our faith. We know that God cares deeply for each of us. He has counted every hair on our heads. Yet we also know that he doesn't always say yes to every prayer we offer. But that doesn't mean we should stop praying. Rather, we should imitate these two blind men in the persistent woman in Jesus' parable. We should never give up asking, even when the situation seems dire. Instead, we should say, Jesus, I believe you can do this. But as you pray, also ask God for the grace to surrender the situation into his hands. It's not always easy to offer our most pressing petitions to God and then let go of the outcome. But the more you practice, the more your trust in him will grow. God may give you a healing, maybe even a miraculous one, or the healing might be different than you expected, perhaps emotional or spiritual. 
maybe you won't notice the change at all. Whatever happens, Jesus hears your prayers. He is always at your side, loving you, comforting you, and sustaining you. He will bring good out of your suffering, even if you can't see it right away. After all, He is your Redeemer. By dying on the cross and rising from the dead, He has delivered you from sin and death. And that, in the end, is the greatest healing of all. Jesus, as I pray for healing, help me to surrender all my needs into your loving hands. Welcome to day two of our Advent gift opening. Day you could two. scooch it a little bit. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that way. Oh. So I forgot I got an Advent from another company too. So I'll open one, then you open, and then I'll open the other one. Oh, so now she gets two. I get one. I forgot I did the other one. Here's your comb. Oh, this is day 20. I was reading it upside down. I thought it said day two. Oh, my God. Yeah. Gee, any guesses? <laughs> Something to uh, raise your spirit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know where it's at. Uh oh. Oh, here's one day too. Okay. <laughs> so don't read them upside down. There's another down. minute in the life right here. It's so wonderful, I. So this is from Stitchy Box. Stitchy hugs to use, lay threads across narrow part of piece, give dangling threads a simple twist, push pull threads through the large hole. I have no idea what this is. It's a bot, it's a robot that stitches for you. Ooh. Isn't that what you said, Stitchy Box? Stitchy box. Oh, box. Oh, these are, oh, they're floss drops. What? I don't know. Reading that just confused me. Oh, how cute. And then it's from an Etsy shop. Oh, man, I ripped it apart. Nice. It's from Stacy Girl Designs. I want to give credit where credit is due. Give it a minute. So Stacy Girl, Girl is G U R L. Girl, hey girl. girl. But look how cute these are. Made out of like a thick cardboard. They got a little snowman on them. Oh my gosh, my camera takes forever to focus. Kind of like me. Jeez, how cute! All right, you're up, Mr. Mr. Wims is up. Are you excited? Any guesses? Oh yeah, you said lift your spirits. Bourbon? Ezra. Close. Extra, extra books. Brooks. Bourbon cream. I was right. It's what's for breakfast. <laughs> Got a coffee cup? Perfect. Little, little dab in your coffee maybe on a Saturday morning? You never know. Thank you. Definitely. All right, so this is, um, by the way, thank you, Stitchy Box and what was the name? Oh, I said Stacy Girl. It's not. What does that say? Sar sauce? Saucy. I don't think that's it. S A R C Y, Sarcy, Sarcy girl. I, I'm sorry, I have no idea. I will link it below. Um, her Etsy shop. So yeah, thank you. These are really cute. All right, now we're on to the kitten stitcher, day number two. So you're gonna get two every day, and I'm only gonna get one. Pretty much. <laughs> I had to buy my own. 
Oh. And I bought yours. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, a floss drop. Oh, that's a pretty sampler. So does it say who's it? Oh. It doesn't say who it's from. There's no name on it. Well, if I show you guys might recognize the the sampler. I can't read it. It's really small. I'd say. Here. It's a really pretty sampler. So yeah, you put your floss on there and it hangs down while you're stitching. Very cool. So thank you, Kitten Stitcher, Teresa and Matt, for organizing that. And thank you, Stitchy Box. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace, Peace. out. Get it. Your keyword for today is ta da, -da, -da! Whoopie day. Keyword. I hope you're collecting all the keywords to be entered in the drawing for an original painting. Yay! I'm giving away three original paintings on Christmas. So make sure you're watching every day and getting those keywords. All right, peace out. Oh. Hey friends, so I am offering a little giveaway on our third day of Vlogmas. <laughs> I am offering this adorable, he's right there, that's the original design, and of course I had to crop it to fit on this pouch. It's the same image on both sides. You'll have it before Christmas because I'm going to do this giveaway. I'll announce the winner tomorrow in tomorrow's Vlogmas. So. What you have to do in order to be entered in the drawing for this adorable pouch, tell me your favorite Christmas memory. It could be from last Christmas all the way until like the first Christmas you remember. Whatever it is that is your favorite Christmas memory. Oh, and the key word in your comment has to be memory. Okay? Memory is the key word put in the comment to be entered into the drawing because I'm going to do the YouTube random comment picker. You can see by the size of my head about how big it is. <laughs> it's so handy. I use them for project bags for my needlework. A cross stitch project fits in here perfectly. But oh my gosh, for an artist, holy Toledo. You could put like a little sketchbook in here with your pencils, or some markers or whatever it is you like to use when you sketch and just have this with you at all times. If you carry a large tote bag or a backpack or something like that, this would fit in there. In my Etsy shop, I sell these and there's also a smaller size. Oh, I, it's way over there. I'm not going to go get it. But the smaller size is probably about this big which is also perfect for like your makeup and that kind of thing. So anyway, these are in my Etsy shop. They, just real quick, they are made to order. So when you place an order, it goes to the company that makes these. They print it, they sew it together, and they ship it directly to you. I don't touch it at all. So just know that. And then if you order this along with, let's say, uh, eight by 10 print, You'll get these separately because the 8x10 print, I will print it, package it, and send it to you. This will come from another company. Or if you order, you know, cross stitch patterns or punch needle patterns or something like that, those come from us, but the pouches come from a third party company. So I wanted to let you know that they will arrive se separately. But these are nice. I have a bunch, I have a stack of them that I just have on hand in case you need a quick gift. You could put some nice Christmas things in here and gift it to somebody if you're in a pinch. Because you know, this time of year, sometimes you get caught off guard. So anyways, I just wanted to offer you something free, guys. I also want to mention that this is free completely, shipping and all, if you're in the United States. If somebody wins outside of the United States, you'll have to pay the shipping, but the, this will still be free. And the reason I'm doing that is because the shipping is ridiculous. You know, with all the things going on in the world, shipping has just went sky high. And 
you know, I, and I'm even willing to split the shipping with you uh, as far as that goes. Like if it's gonna be really expensive, I will split the shipping. We will work it out if you're not in the, you know, 50 states. So anyway, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this like little surprise. I might do this a little more often to just throw in a little giveaway for you guys because you know why not, it's Christmas. All right, thanks, bye. Thank you.